Uh, Barry, I could talk to you all night. Just give me one little thing. <laughs> my team, Arsenal, yeah. choked, in my opinion, the Premier oh, League. They were no. eight points clear, eight, point, eight games to go. Do you agree with me? No, no. Look, I've had ni- I had 19 years as chairman of Lake Norrin. I know all about football, not, <laughs> not at your level. Yeah, but your expectation level was lower. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? And you're judging it on expectation level mm. rather than reality. The reality is they're professional sportsmen, they're trained to win, and they're proud. Is it fair that Manchester City have all this oil money, which allows them to have a grotesque financial advantage Again, over everybody else. There's 123 claims against them for them to justify and fight. This saga will run longer than Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. <laughs> it's going to go on forever. But at the end of the day, Arsenal, and I know you don't want this because you're through blue and mm. Arsenal, at the end of the day, they weren't quite good enough. You see, I don't agree. I just don't think they weren't mentally strong enough. They didn't believe but that they could may be, be part of being not quite good enough. They needed to be more like Michael Block. They needed to believe they belonged on the top stage. No, they've got to do it over 40 odd games throughout a season in front of a very good, wherever the money's come mm. from, will be an issue answered later. But for the moment, hats off to Manchester City. They are one of the greats of my lifetime. They are. They're a good team.